Brian. Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through the word each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 76, NASDAQ up 6, S&P's off 6.5. Gold, gold contract up $30.60, trading at 2,348 an ounce. We have silver up 51 cents. $29.58 an ounce, light sweet crude flat, $78.53 a barrel, notes and bonds, 10-year note, up three ticks, trading 110.26, the 30-year up 18 at 120.13, and king dollar, king dollar is trading up 347 ticks, 105.542, euro 107, yen 157, British pound, at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. Now, I'm going to do something different out here because come next week, this is going to get really intriguing. Let's pull this up again. Because where do you see this? This is one way or the other. Something's going to... Let me do it this way. NVDA. There's an ETF, folks, okay? Let's see, high return. Okay, here we go. Now, particularly if you if you trade, I know we got plenty of traders that trade NVIDIA as well as Apple, okay? So you gotta wrap your head around this for a second. Because next Friday, okay, there's gonna be a rebalancing of the XLK. Now the XLK, okay. Let's see the weight and structure. The XLK, uh, large mid-cap stocks, the largest investment allocation in the United States. Let's see. So the holdings in the XLK go like this. You get Apple is 22%, Microsoft is 22%, NVIDIA is 5.9%. Okay? Now, watch what happens here. Okay. A weak relative performance on June 14th for Apple and Microsoft could force the technology select sector fund to sell shares of the lag it and buy NVIDIA with the proceeds. Still, it's now less likely that the ETF will have, will have to unload over 11 billion of Apple stock and purchase 10 billion uh, of NVIDIA stock due to Apple's 11% three-day rally. Now, what's intriguing here is that, you know, I've been on to this for a few days and I was really, I'm, I'm looking, I'm saying to myself, you know, I'm wondering if the fund itself decided that, man, you know what, I'm going to juice Apple so we don't have to get into this mess, okay? So let's see what they say here. A forced sale of $11 billion of Apple shares and the purchase of $10 billion of NVIDIA by the XLK look likely on June 10th, but now may not happen. Apple rallied 11% over three days, making it the 71 billion ETF biggest holding and leaving Microsoft number two while well, NVIDIA three. The final decision on the rebalance will depend on the closing value of each company. Oh, today. Okay. So we're going to know today. The smallest will have a position capped at 4.5 due to diversification rules. XLK index determines size based on each company's float adjusted market capitalization. Okay. Okay, so let me just see here. So NVIDIA is 131. Yeah, so as of right now, Apple would still, they wouldn't have to sell it. This got really interesting, though, because look how, look how this shakes out, folks. X XLK, watch this. X, XLK. Because the difference, it, it, it's pretty amazing. Here, here's the holding. You can see, as of, Last week, before Apple made that run, they would have had to sell a bunch of Apple, buy a bunch of NVIDIA, 
and we would have saw whether it would affected the equity at all. But it doesn't look like that's going to, no, it's not going to happen right now because I can tell by there's no way that what would end up happening, Apple would have to come down about 10 points like ASAP, and I don't see that happening coming into the close. So as I said earlier in the program, we're just going to go sideways here, man. There's no, there's no one's in. No one's in. And when you look at the calendar, this is going to get uh, more so because, well, it's only the 14th. Yeah, it's only the 14th. We got plenty of time because I was just going to say July 4th, but July 4th is off somewhat. Next Wednesday, the market's closed. You know, summer trading is in, though, in a monster way. There's no two ways about that. We look at some of the, uh, we'll go to Tesla. So Tesla, bottom line, Elon not only got the okay on the pay package, you got the okay on moving the legal address to Texas, which I suspect he's going to do ASAP. That's the bottom line. Um, you know, because what ends up happening is that the way, the, the way this is structured right now, it still has to go back to the board. The board will say yes or no. I suspect they'll say yes. And that judge can still, in Delaware, can still can it versus he gets the incorporation in Texas. And I suspect they're doing that right now. And they're going to flip that around to Texas. And then what will end up happening is that the jurisdiction in Delaware will have zero jurisdiction. The amazing part <laughs> about this, is no doubt, is that they just gave him approximately 10%, nine, well, 9.5% of the equity, of the whole market cap. So that's the new deal. 50 billion, you want a CEO? Pay up, man. <laughs> I'm only joking, of course, OK? There's nothing like, he's, he's just a different animal, man. And he's getting a different pay great because of it. The thing that's amazing to me actually looking at it though because there's there's a lot of long-term very committed buyers to Tesla and when you look at it man I mean we were talking about it when he's selling it at $412 man I don't get it I what I don't get sometimes is that how can these folks yeah it went to 414 he was selling up here at 400 412 the stocks cut in half they have millions of shares and they just keep them. That, that's the part that blows my mind sometimes. But it is what it is. So right there, folks, we'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 87. NASDAQ is up two. S&P's off seven and a half. We'll come right back.